morning everyone happy monday today is going to be another week in my life i woke up this morning i actually just posted the week of my life from yesterday which were my health results and i'm getting a lot of really great great comments a lot of you guys are giving me pretty much very similar advice that my doctor gave me like the people who have experienced the same kind of stuff in terms of like inflammation and like being out in the sun and getting vitamin d intermittent fasting which i'm actually starting today so i it's like 10 30 right now and i haven't had anything to eat but, and i'm actually not like feeling too bad the only thing that i really want right now is a cup of coffee so i'm just gonna wait and that's another thing you guys have mentioned like cutting out like alcohol sugars processed foods and caffeine and i've kind of noticed a difference when i'm drinking caffeine and when i'm not i actually was not a coffee drinker until I want to say like junior year of college and I only did it because everyone went to Starbucks all the time I thought it was fun especially during the fall time getting like warm and cozy so I actually ordered like Nespresso pods like decaf because I still like to have my coffee it's just a fun thing to have in the morning I just want to make a more conscious effort to like eat, eat better and add supplements into my body and limit things that are going to affect like the way my body is and I think honestly it's just my body telling me that I need to be more healthy so <laughs> We're going with it but i actually got a new bed set and like setting i was waiting for one more piece which was like the main piece it's a quilt that's like a camel colored quilt and it was supposed to arrive yesterday and i've been waiting to put off like this filming of my bedding like i think i got everything in december and i just kept putting it off because i was like on january 16th i'll get the final the final piece but now it's not gonna come until april so i'm just gonna put it on i can show you guys like what it looks like i got everything from west elm that's the bed set that i got i got literally everything that's in this picture the thing that's not coming until april is gonna be this piece but we're just gonna work with it i also got an email this morning saying that my desk chair that i got is now not coming until I think May. So I called and I canceled. I was like, I literally cannot wait till May. And I'm low key afraid that the desk is also not gonna come until later because it's from the same company. I'm really, really, really craving a desk right now and my couch because I just don't feel settled. I feel like I'm still in 2020 mode. <laughs> like I want my couch. I just am so ready to start decorating my place. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my bed sheets on quilt won't be here until like april and then i want to find some art like we're gonna do some apartment stuff today which is gonna be exciting Here is the final product. The quilt will be here soon and it will look really nice. But for now, we're just gonna stick to this little faux fur blanket. Um, but it came with like these sheets. Uh, I don't even know what color they are, but I will link everything down below. I literally just saw a picture on their website and I just ordered everything. So the actual duvet is from Amazon, like the big puffy one. So if I can find that, I'll link that down below. This is also West Elm. I've had that for so long. I'll, again, I'll just link it all. Um, I had to get this and then the actual pillow like separate. This was separate. This came with the actual sheets and then I have this blanket, which is so freaking comfortable this is probably my favorite thing but i think it looks really nice i feel like it looks more hotelish than my last one the other one just was more for my aesthetic in new york i also broke my fast um at 11 30 so i didn't hit it till noon just it's my first day you know like i'm trying i'm really trying and i think i ate like later than eight last night so yeah but i'm gonna like scarf down food as much as i can today just because i want to make sure i get in three meals and everything like i don't want to do the intermittent fasting for any like weight loss thing i just want to do it more for health and i actually was just listening to a podcast about your health and fasting and all of that stuff and it was a doctor his name was dr peter atia i'll link it down below it was so informative it was very sciencey so it was kind of hard to explain but 
he had mentioned something that I want to talk about. Where did I put it? Oh, I think it's in here. I like wrote it down. I'm actually going to journal this because I thought it was a really good way and explanation to health. He had asked him like, how do you lower your stress levels or how do you tolerate your stress in day-to-day -day life? And he's like, there's five things that we have control over that can increase our health and longevity. And number one is your nutrition and the biochemistry of your, of your nutrition. So that's like what you eat, how you eat, when you actually eat. And he was mentioning a lot about the benefits of fasting in general so i guess the actual timing that we eat plays a huge role in the way that we like our biochemistry in our body and uh, then he said the second one is like exercise and movement of your body the third one is just sleep the fourth one is like managing your stress and he had mentioned in there like meditation and stuff which i don't do i used to do it or try to do it back in the day but i feel like my yoga is something that i do to manage my stress and because i go to a yoga studio now where it's like an actual studio it's not just for health and like fitness kind of stuff which i was going to for the past few years it's very much a zen experience it's almost like therapy mixed with yoga it feels amazing i sometimes will go to like restorative classes where we're literally just holding poses and he's doing like a meditation and that kind of thing so i feel like that's going to be my typical way because i'm just not the kind of person to sit there and meditate like this and then the fifth one was the molecules that you take so that's like drugs hormones or any supplements that you take so i feel like i'm doing really good and i'm really zoning in on my health this year because I'm looking so far internally whereas before I think a lot of times and online I think society displays health as a physique and a look not so much like internal so it's just important to me to like continue that and I feel like I'm really just like learning so much and gaining all this knowledge about like what goes on inside our bodies that can reflect and manifest physically on our health, you know? I just thought it was cool. I also got, so off topic, my 11.11 perfume. So I actually, do you guys remember the um, YouTube videos back in the day called like empties or something like that? Where people would say like all the products that they have emptied and would like repurchase again. This is my most recent empty, the 11.11 perfume by Lake and Sky. It was my go-to for like the past two years. It smells so good. And I have the Le Labo Santel 33, which is what I got for Christmas, but that one is just so expensive. I feel so bad just like spraying it for everyday use. And this one is a little bit more expensive as well, but it's not as expensive as the Santel 33. So, oh yeah. Smells so good. This is a unisex one too. It just smells very clean and I really 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 like it and every time I like ever use it around people they're like oh my god it smells so good. So got some more of that. You can get it at Ulta which is pretty cool. Tuesday. It is freezing outside. It's like 40s. I went to hot yoga this morning, not because I wanted to do hot yoga, but because I was freezing. Freezing. Anyway, I'm actually going to head over to the mall and like a glassware store. I think it's like Crate and Barrel or something because uh, one of my New Year's resolutions was to like host more and I don't have like proper glassware for drinks and stuff and I want to learn how to like make a cute drink because when people come over I know how to make like a vodka soda, um, a gin and soda, shots. <laughs> I can't make a cute drink. I want to like bartend or like learn how to make cute drinks. We'll make like a festive drink recipe. So I have like a mixer set coming in the mail from Amazon. It should be here like tomorrow I think but I don't have like cute glassware. I have cute um wine glasses these are really cute these are from amazon i'll link them down below i also have only two champagne flutes so i feel like i need to get a few more i have shot glasses galore and i have two moscow mule cups that i barely even use um so that's the goal today is to find that and then i also want to like run into the mall and see if i can find a pair of booties I 
trying to find some balance in my life I never really put up a fight And now I'm losing sleep What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it right? Uh, what is all this static? Oh my lordy! I think it's because it's cold. Um, but Crate and Barrel was a success. And I'm also not in the best mood right now. I'm just kind of like grumpy. And I'm just like getting annoyed at everything. So I need to go home and just like relax. The vibe is not there. I am, um, yeah, I'm just like weird and in a weird mood. I tried to get ready today too to like fix it. It's not really helping. I just feel like crawling into bed and just like sleeping. We're not gonna do that. I think I'm gonna go home and edit a little bit. Maybe that'll get me in a better mood. I need to get into like a flow state. I'm, I've been bored the past few days and when I get bored, I get extremely, extremely grumpy. So I'm just like bored and I have nothing to do. Sometimes I'm like, I love my job so much, but I feel like I need something else to do. And like, I'm lonely and it's just like, everyone here works nine to five and it's just like me. And I love the flexibility of my job and everything, but sometimes when I have nothing to do, it's just like, what am I doing with my life? Like. I want to do something else. I don't know. Or have people in my life. So sad. Okay. We're gonna like listen to music jam out and get out of this funk. Good morning guys. What's up? It is now Thursday. I had a very emotional last few. Actually a little bit longer than 24 hours. I just had myself in feels and stuff like that. And I think I was just trying to like distract myself through I don't even know like I was trying to go to the mall and honestly I do want to do like the cocktail thing so I'm glad I went to Crate and Barrel I didn't even show you guys what I got well, I'll show you later because I feel like I have situational like anxiety like when something happens in my life I tend to get like very overwhelmed with emotion and I it's really hard to pick up a camera like that because it's like not ideal. I think when people have like real jobs per se, like if I had something that I had to do or accomplish, it's almost like something to distract myself by. Whereas mine is like, let's talk about it. Or like, I have to pretend that I'm not in this mood or like be creative in any way. And I like talking emotions and I like the fact that we're open on this channel and stuff in terms of like life and just it being normalized to not be happy all the time. But when you're in that state, it's hard to like, even verbalize or try to like communicate that in any way so i like to talk about it more so after but i think i just like again like there was a situational problem that happened where i got in my head and then i turn like those doubts and stuff into like fear and then i get really like the grief of everything that happened to me kind of hits me like the minute i got here i've been very busy i put myself out there very fast and i was distracted and i have a lot of people in my life but when things like go away and I have nothing to do or like people are working and they're busy, it like that's when things kind of hit me and I'm like, what the f is going on in my life? Where am I? Like I'm not where I really want to be in life. To be 100% open and honest with you guys, like when I see my friend Chase, for example, has a beautiful family. And when I went to go visit him, it was so nice to be around kids. And it's almost like being around dogs, you know, like kids just like, feed my soul i used to babysit when i was younger so even before i like i always had kids in my life i think the only times that i didn't was like the past i would say like five or six years and then my friends started having kids so i get the benefit of being able to have kids in my life without the commitment and like the responsibility which is so nice but now when i'm at this age and i am literally starting fresh and new it is so terrifying to be alone especially in like a bigger home like in the city i'm around a ton of people and like there's people here and stuff too but this is a bigger home it's really quiet i had chase and his family come over one one night um couple months ago and it was so vibrant in here like his little daughter bonnie was like talking to me we were drawing and coloring Bo, his little baby was like crawling around christy was here his ex-wife chase was here like it was so loud and vibrant and when my friends are here it's the same thing and then when they go away i'm like oh my god it's so quiet like i just feel like i also created a life with my ex that was i like i have friends but i don't and i have a very small amount of close friends and I have like people that I work with like I would say like YouTube friends but I look at them more as like kind of co-workers and they're always there and stuff but they're like no one's here the reason why I moved here is because of my family like after everything that went down with my dad I like that's so important to me and I do see my mom a lot I go to her place when I'm feeling this way we have like our moments and stuff my brother's here but I'm slowly but surely creating a friend group and base here. And I do talk to people a lot on the phone. I think that's so important, like to keep up with the friendships, even though they're not still here. Like 
Chase is actually going to move down here soon, um, before the end of the year for sure. So that's super, super duper exciting. And I cannot wait because I'll be able to have like some sort of outlet. But I think right now it's just like a weird space where like 2020 is done, but I'm still kind of living in fear of it and like being alone. I think I have like some sort of PTSD, but I freak out and I'm like, what the heck? And I have to realize like I'm not alone. I'm, I could be lonely, um, but I'm definitely not alone and I do have people, but when something situational happens and then you realize that and then you kind of just like reflect and I like everything that went down, it just like all kind of hits you like a wave and then you realize you, it's just so easy to spiral and I just, I spiraled a little bit. Um, but again, I have a very great support system and group and I know that one day it will happen. I'm just like, I feel like I'm behind. I feel like everyone thinks that though. Is that right? Like my mom tells me, she's like, you think about everything, Renee. Like when I started my YouTube channel, I was like, I'm behind. Like, I just want to be here. And like, once you get there, it like doesn't mean as much because like you, you have it and you've had it for a while. It's the same kind of thing. It's like, I want my life to be this certain way and I can't just expect it to happen overnight. I'm excited for that chapter in my life, but I need to learn how to like live in this moment and appreciate it and just kind of like enjoy it, you know? Um, I don't know, I just think a lot of fear and worry and stress came from the past few days that I was just like, I need a minute. I just need a freaking minute I got in my head. So it's a new day. It is so cold outside. It's so cozy. I also had like a freaking nosebleed guys like beyond just like profusely bleeding. And I think it has to do with the heat I guess I'm putting on my mom told me. And I've been taking a lot of like antihistamines which dries you out and I just was bleeding so much and I wanted to run yesterday. Um, but I've been running outside because the weather's so nice, but I'm so scared that my nose is gonna start bleeding And it wasn't like bleeding like in a way that if I have a napkin in my hand I'll just like put it here. It was like blood was pouring out So I'm kind of like fearful of like going to the gym or something. I mean, I can go to the gym Actually, let's do that at first. Maybe then I'm gonna go to the gym, which is downstairs. I might do like legs today Howdy guys, welcome to Renee's Kitchen. I haven't had a chance to cook this week, but I'm gonna make a drink instead. We're gonna do like a recipe. Um, my friend Taylor, by the way, it's Friday, happy Friday. I didn't do anything today besides edit and I ran this morning. I'm actually about to head out um, and I'm gonna make myself a cucumber gimlet. So my friend Taylor got me hooked on cucumber gimlets. They're pretty much the only thing I can drink right now that I'm not like allergic to. There's a secret though to it. It has to have elderflower and you have to use Hendrix. So I want to learn how to make like drinks. Um, I, like I said earlier, I just, I can't make fancy drinks. So I just wanna learn how to bartend. So that's like a challenge, I guess. I don't know. But I got this mixer set here on Amazon. It comes with pretty much everything. I've never made a drink in one of these things before. I've seen people make drinks in here. I don't know what I'm doing, so enjoy the ride. But basically you need Saint Germain, which is elderflower, elderflower liqueur, Hendrix, which is gin, cucumber, and I'm pretty sure a lime, which I have right over Yeah. So you can also use vodka if you don't like gin. So you fill the cocktail shaker with ice. Ice. 
Now what? That was easy. So one and a half. Is an ounce a shot? One and a half. Okay. Um, the Saint Germain, which is one ounce. This stuff is really good. This is what makes it really good. Anything elderflower is always really, really, really yummy. So we got one of those. I always feel like bartenders are so cool. Bartenders and hairdressers, they have like a vibe. Okay, one ounce of lime juice. I'll just squeeze in half of this. I actually really like lime a lot. So the more the merrier. Oh man, this one's one of the ones that has no juice. Maybe this will work. There we go. Is it just me or limes are always like this? Like you can, it's pretty rare to find a good juicy lime. I mean, I say that and now this one, there we go. How do you know which ones are juicy and which ones aren't? There's like a trick for watermelon. I know there's like a tapping something, like you have to like knock on it, I don't know. Um, pineapple, you can pick the very like middle, like brand, what do you call that? Like the root. Um, if you pick the like very top part and it comes off easily, I'm pretty sure that's like a really juicy one. Like there's tricks. What's the lime one? One two inch piece peeled, quartered lengthwise. Okay, hold on. And cut across into one fourth inch pieces. Oh fuck, I just cut my nail. See photos. Oops, I didn't look at the photos looks the same plus a thinly sliced cucumber round for garnish okay and shake like crazy for 30 seconds that's it 30 29 28. and then we strain it what is this thing because this came with like something that you put on the top but it doesn't really fit and i'm pretty sure that's a strainer Okay, come on. Oh, I also got cute glasses. I didn't show you guys my glasses. Wait, hold on. So I ended up getting two more champagne flutes, and then I got three of these and three of these. I had the cucumber gimlet idea, so I wanted these, and then I have, I need to take off the tags. I wanted to do an espresso martini at one point. <laughs> cute! I'm so proud of myself. I just made this. I feel like this is a really expensive drink if we get it out. I have to send this to my friend Taylor. She'll be proud. She'll be a proud mama. Let's try it. Cheers. What? Okay, that was so easy. I am highly impressed. Low key, I'm like kind of annoyed that I can do that right here in my house now because I feel like I'm gonna drink these more often. Cheers, happy Friday. I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I started off kind of in a weird state this week and I think a lot of it has to do with just like the reflection of like being single, especially after like a very long term relationship and like diving into the dating world and stuff. It's just like you have a lot of like self-reflection and very deep hard lessons that you kind of like are being faced with and it's just like a really tough and exciting and weird like time in my life and it's just like i'm all of it i feel like i'm on a roller coaster like emotionally but i feel like three months down the line i'm not even gonna recognize who i was and i'm gonna look at my old version of myself and be like so thankful for the growth that i've been you know going through and all this stuff so all good things i'm in a good mood now i might be in a bad mood tomorrow like who knows but i just am going through all these like completely new experiences that are just opening things that I never really knew about myself and you know struggles that I need to overcome and like deep rooted issues that I have learned over the past years and my childhood and all this stuff like it's just insane I am definitely going to go to therapy I decided that today actually I'm like I need to sign up for therapy because there's just things that are surfacing from like deep of my past like when I was younger and it's just kind of scary to face it and I want to like unlearn a lot of the things that I've been like accustomed to so it's all growth in the long run which is a good thing so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did give it a thumbs up i will see you guys soon i'll be switching numbers yeah i did just another color switch it up